Okay, next we're gonna check out the track mouse modifiers in Reaper. This is what happens when we click or drag in the area between the items, like here or here or here. But also, if you click above the items, like up here, not by the ruler, that's actually separate, but just below it or above the items, this area right here is also considered the track as far as mouse modifiers. So let's open up the preferences. And right here is the track context. Let's start off with left click. By default, it's gonna deselect all items and move the edit cursor. So if we select some items like these two and click over here, it moves the edit cursor and deselects the items. And if nothing is selected, it just moves the edit cursor. But again, we can change that. We could deselect all items and move the edit cursor, ignoring snap. So normally, if snap is turned on, when we click it, it's going to snap to the grid. But if we choose this option, it's going to ignore the snap. So you can click anywhere, but it still deselects the items. So if these are selected and click over here, they become deselected, but it's ignoring the snap, which is the default when using the modifier command or in PC it's control. We can also just deselect all items and not move the edit cursor. So if we select a few, click anywhere over here, it deselects them, but it doesn't move the edit cursor even if we click over here. So if we want to move the edit cursor, we have to click on the ruler up here, which is a separate context we'll get to later. But down here, it doesn't move the edit cursor. We can extend the time selection, which is the default when holding down shift. So we have a time selection, click over here, it extends it. And same over here. Or you can shorten it by clicking inside. We could extend the time selection, ignoring snap. We could clear the time selection, which is the default when holding down command and option, or on PC when holding down control and alt. So if we have a time selection like this, clicking over here clears the time selection, but it doesn't do anything else. If items are selected, they stay selected, and it doesn't move the edit cursor. This again is one of my favorites. Restore previous zoom or scroll. And again, it's not set to anything by default, so it's good to know. This is gonna restore the previous zoom or scroll. Let's set it back up on the control key or start on PC. So now if we zoom in, Hold down control or start on the PC and click on our track. It reverts to our previous zoom or scroll. Do it again, goes back even further. We can do it up here as well, above the item. Hold down the modifier, click it, and it goes back in steps. And finally, we have the action list. Once again, we could assign any action or custom action when we click on the empty track area. So we could choose something like snapping. And we could toggle snapping right here by holding down this modifier. Snapping is off right now. Hold on the modifier and click. It turns it on. So now the grid or snapping is turned back on. Do it again. It toggles and snapping is turned off. But again, we could choose any option we want. Let's put this all back to the default and let's check out left drag. This is what's going to happen when we drag in the empty track area. By default, it's going to select time or create a time selection like this. But again, we can change it. We can choose to draw a copy of a selected media item right here, 
we could choose just draw. Now, if we select this item here and drag over here, it's going to draw a copy of this item, which is the default if we hold on Command on the Mac or Control on the PC right here. But there's a few other mini options over here. We could ignore Snap, use the source on the same track, or pull MIDI source data. We could also draw an empty MIDI item. So now if I draw, it creates a MIDI item right in that area, here or here. We could draw one ignoring Snap. Another one of my favorites is to marquee select items. We could choose to just select them. Let me put this back to default and set this up using our control modifier or start modifier on PC. Marquee select items and just select. Now, if we hold down the modifier, we can select items by drawing a marquee square over them, like this, and it selects both of them. And there's a few other options tied to the marquee. Ignoring snap, set time selection. So it'll set time selection at the same time, like this. It selects the items and it creates a time selection, which is great for doing things like this. Select an area like this. They're both selected along with the time selection. We can cut it and it cuts out just the area on the time selection with the items that are selected. And we could also toggle the selection or add to the selection. We could select time, ignoring snap. We can edit our loop points separately from our time selection. So if we go to our options and unlink loop points and time selection, this is our loop points and this is a time selection, which can now be separate. Where before, they were linked. So with this option chosen, edit loop points, we can separate them or unlink them. And if we drag over here, holding down the modifier, it only changes our loop points. The time selection isn't changed, although we could change that by not holding down the modifier like this. See, select time, which is the default action when we're not holding down the modifier. Down here, hold on the modifier, it changes our loop points. But that only happens when these are unlinked. Otherwise, it does the same thing. We can edit loop points, ignoring snap. We can move the time selection which is the default behavior when holding down shift. So if you have a time selection, hold down shift, and we can move the time selection separately, which is great when we have a perfect length on our time selection that we don't want to change, but we just want to move it. And by default, it's assigned to the shift modifier right here. We could ignore snap, and we can marquee zoom which is another one of my favorites. If we combine this with left click and change this to restore previous zoom, left dragging with this modifier is gonna marquee zoom. Hold down the modifier, we could zoom in, and then we can hold down the modifier again and just click, and it restores the previous zoom back to here. Let's do it again. And we can get really small by going up here and click it again, it goes back. It's pretty handy and it's one of my favorites. So those are the left drag options, but there's also ones for double click. And you can see by default, nothing is assigned. So it's kind of a waste. We're not really using it. So let's use it for something. For default action, we could just choose actions from the action list. Let's choose snapping again. 
And we can toggle snapping right here. And now if we double click over here, it turns on snapping. So moving things around, we're gonna snap to the grid. Double click again, and they don't. So it's a quick way of turning snapping on and off just by double clicking. And we could set up a separate action for each one of these modifiers. So we could shift double click here, command or control double click here, and set up a whole bunch of actions just for double clicking in the track area. So definitely add a few there. Let's reset everything. And let's go to track control panel. On the track control panel, this is what happens when we double click over here. This area right here, by default, it selects all the items. Right here, select all media items on track. But again, we can change this. We can toggle selection for all the media items on the track. So if this one is selected and this one is selected, double clicking over here reverses it. So everything that was selected becomes unselected. Everything that was unselected becomes selected. So it's great for inverting our selections. Or if nothing is selected, it selects them all, or clicking it again, selects nothing. We can add all media items to the selection. We could zoom view to track, and we could also restore our previous zoom. This is another one of my favorites, because if we choose this and go back to track on the left drag and choose marquee zoom, we can now marquee zoom by holding down the modifier to zoom in, but we can revert that zoom by double clicking over here. And we're right back. And once again, we have our action list. This time, let's choose locking. And we'll choose down over here, toggle locking. So by default, if we double click over here, it's going to toggle locking. So right now, we can move our items. But if we double click over here, it turns on locking. And we can't. Based on what's set up over here. So everything is locked, double click it, and it's not. It's just a quick way of changing our settings on the fly without holding down a modifier. Just go over here, double click it, and it toggles locking. Or it could toggle snapping or anything you want. So it's really important to be creative with it and think of what's most important to you. So anyway, that's the track mouse modifiers in Reaper. In the next video, we're going to check out the ruler mouse modifiers. Let's go.